today I have a bunch of empties, products that I have completely used up or like for, or like I'm just done with, like I can't get anything else out. So I thought it would be fun to go through them and kind of talk about them since I think it's very valuable to see the products that I have used up completely and like get my opinion on them because I've used them fully. They're done. But I'm doing a hair mask right now and that's why my hair looks like this so I thought it'd be fun to put on a face mask and talk about the trash talk some beauty products. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put on this. This is the 4th Ray um, Avocado Superfood Nourishing Mask so I thought it'd be nice just to kind of give my skin a little refresh because I am breaking out quite a bit and my skin just has a lot of texture. I'm just not happy with my skin at the moment so I'm going to do a little beauty treatment and trash talk some products. So let's dive right in. I haven't used this face mask in a hot minute. Oh god. Pro tip, if your nails are too long or too brittle, in my case both, tweezers to open products. Oh, that has gone bad. Okay, I'm gonna throw that out. So my first product is this 4th Ray Beauty Avocado Superfood Nourishing Mask because it is now, it is definitely expired I don't want to put that on my face if it's all brown like that. So this is a product that I haven't used up completely, but I'm going to throw that away. Um, I really liked this. I would definitely repurchase it. It was just a nice, calming face mask. It didn't do much. It just kind of boosted your skin a little bit. I am going to grab a different face mask to put on because I really want to do a face mask. So instead, for a face mask, I'm going to use this Peach Slices Snail Rescue Intensive Wash-Off Mask. Um, it says, fast track to hydrated, blemish-free skin and even glow. Minimize the appearance of pores and dark spots. It's clear, so I like that. I won't look entirely crazy. But it's like... something for me. God, I feel beautiful right now. My hair's all greased up. My skin covered in snail goo. What a time to be alive. Everything in that little Ulta bag is stuff that I have used up, stuff that I am stuff that I'm kind of over, it's done, like I can't get anything else out or it's expired. So first one is this face mask that was brown. And you know when avocados go brown, they're bad. So let's get into it. The first one I have here is the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. Absolutely love this. This is the Big Daddy one, um, 16 fluid ounces. I absolutely love this. I've been using this face wash for like three years at this point. Um, it's just so gentle on the skin and it leaves it doesn't strip your skin of its natural oil So after I use it my skin doesn't feel like Squeaky clean. It just feels like soft and hydrated and it takes off my makeup pretty well. I do go in with a um, Like a cleansing balm beforehand, but this is a really nice after that or just like for every day um, Yeah, it has three essential ceramides amino acids and amino acids and hyaluronic acid so it's really great I have actually repurchased this already but I bought it in the bar form so I'm hoping that'll help because it's a little bit more sustainable and eco-friendly than this giant tub of plastic the next thing I used up are these Q-Tex um, swipe and go nail polish removers they just come in like little packets and yeah, I mean, they worked. They take off my nail polish. Um, I have another box, and then I probably won't repurchase it because it's like individually wrapped, and it's just not good for the environment. And as I've mentioned so many times, I'm trying to go a little bit more sustainable, a little, care a little bit more about the environment because we only have one planet Earth. There is no planet B. Um, <laughs> so 
I mean, these just, they're great to travel with. And let's do these. I have two candles that are pretty much done. I can't really get in there anymore. They're both from Bath and Body Works, so I have sugared lemon zest. I really liked this one. I thought it would have a description, but it doesn't. Um, I really like this one. It smells like um, lemon cookies, and it was really nice. I'm not a big, I love candles, but I can't really like describe candles. And then the other one I have is Pink Apple Punch. This one smelled amazing. It smelled like a pink apple. Duh. I know it smells like a burnt pink apple, but these were really nice. You know, it's a Bath and Body Works candle. Everybody knows how they burn, how they work. Yeah, I would definitely like buy those again. I am looking for more natural candles just because like it's the air that I'm breathing and I'm a little bit worried about toxins and everything like that. So most of this stuff is like body care, skin care. I have a few makeup products, but not too, too much. Um, I have two serums. I have the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid and B5 um, serum. I really love this. I, this is probably like my third or fourth bottle of this. I absolutely love it. I just think that it gives my skin a little bit more radiance, a little bit more hydration because hyaluronic acid is extremely hydrating on the skin. Um, so I really like this. I would repurchase it. I'm just not sure yet because I do, like I said, I want to go to a cleaner. Um, skincare routine and a little bit more simplified so that's why I'm trying to use up a lot of the products that I have now instead of just going out and repur and purchasing new products I'm trying to use up what I have in my collection um, and then I'll go forward with it so I would definitely repurchase this one but if I can find one that's a little bit better for your skin ingredients wise and um, better for the environment packaging wise then I would definitely go with that but if I can't I will buy this one again I really liked it it's by the ordinary I don't know if I said that I'm so excited to throw all this stuff out I've just had a bag of garbage the next one I have this one is I just I don't use it anymore and it's pretty much empty anyway so this is the fourth ray beauty remedy 10% niacinamide serum um, so niacinamide is supposed to help perfect pores, enhance skin clarity, and boost overall skin health. I really like this. I just kind of stopped using it. Um, and I don't think I will, I don't think I'll repurchase this again. I didn't notice enough of a difference to justify me buying this product again. So it's really good. I do recommend it. I just, for my skin tone and my skin type, I didn't notice a difference without it when I stopped using it. So I'm gonna probably not repurchase that one. And I'm kind of over serums. Honestly, I'm more of like a toner, moisturizer, oil type of girl now instead of like toner. Ser like I, It's just too many steps for me right now. And I'm trying to simplify my life. My life. Oh, this is a good one. Next one I have is the Sol de Janeiro um, Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And I have used this bad boy up. I really liked the smell. I don't think I would repurchase this again. One, because of the price. It's like, I think $40 or something ridiculous like that. And I didn't notice that much of a difference in my skin. I have very sensitive, very dry skin on my body. And I get like eczema patches. Like I have a patch on my, I have not an eczema patch, but I just have like a patch of skin on my thigh that's very rough and dry and I didn't notice that this helped it any and when I look for a body product that's what I'm looking for I'm looking for something that will help soothe that irritation and that itch that I get on my skin and this just didn't really do that for me but I really liked the smell so I think instead of this I would just buy like the they make a body spray of just the scent so I would definitely buy that but I don't think I would purchase this again I just didn't notice enough of a difference in my skin to justify spending I don't know 50 40 dollars on it again so but I did enjoy using it you know I feel bad like being like I'm not gonna buy this again it's crap but it was it was nice and if you have like 
normal-ish skin and you're just looking for something to kind of give you a little bit of boost, a little bit of radiance, that's really good. But if you're like me and you just have like dry, flaky, itchy skin all over your body like I do, I wouldn't recommend it. I have two shaving creams and they're the same. I have, there are two Nivea Men's. I have the Shave Foam and the Shave Gel, both for sensitive skin. This is my go-to. I absolutely love the Nivea Men shaving line. Um, I just find that men's shaving cream doesn't give me as much irritation as women's shaving cream does because it's like meant for your face, so it's meant to not irritate it as much. Whereas, I don't know, I think it's all a marketing ploy. I don't think that shaving cream needs to be genderized, but it is, so I buy the men's. Um, I think I prefer the the foam more than the gel, but I mean I interchange them. I don't care. I have re I've gone through like countless amounts of these bottles, but as I'm going on my journey to be a little bit more sustainable in my beauty products, I'm looking for an alternative to these because like I'm looking for like a bar. So if you guys have any recommendations of like. I guess zero waste or sustainable um, shaving cream, please let me know because that's something I'm definitely on the lookout because the ones that I've seen are like $50 and I'm not really interested in spending $50 on a, lo on a shaving cream, quite honestly. And if I can't find one, I'll just use my soap. I don't really care, but I definitely love these and if I, you know, I would definitely buy these again if I am in a pinch. I just, these are like my favorite shaving products of all time. What else do we have in this bag of things? Oh, this isn't really a beauty product, but I'm going to mention it. This is the Neil Med Neil Cleanse Wound Wash, and I use this to clean my piercings. Um, it's good. I used it um, a few last month, two months ago. I got these really horrible blisters on my ankles from this pair of shoes that I was wearing. And I put this on it and it helped alleviate some of the pain and I think it helped it um, heal faster because they were like these huge gouges in my ankles. So good stuff. We'll repurchase forever and always. Let's see. I'll save the beauty stuff for last. I have a hand cream. This is the Savannah Bee Company Beeswax and Royal Jelly Hand Cream. Love this stuff. I've been through like three tubes of this. We'll definitely, re we'll definitely repurchase. I just won't um, repurchase this scent. This is the cedar scent and it's just not really my taste. I know that they have like a lavender one. I think I have that one at home. So I would definitely buy that one again. Um, but this is like an excellent hand cream. So hydrating, so moisturizing. My, the hands on, the hands, the skin on my hands tends to peel a lot because I got really bad rope burn as a child. Um, I fell off of a rope swing and just like completely screwed up my fingers. So this, I don't know if I have any, but like the skin around my nails peels a lot and I get a lot of like random cuts on my hand and I found that this helped me um, eliminate some of that because they were so hydrated that they weren't dry and peeling and cracking. So definitely, definitely repurchase just a different scent it was just a little too strong and woodsy and I like more floral fruity flavors yeah but this stuff is excellent um, I'll try and put links to everything down below if I remember um, okay two products that are not finished up but I'm getting rid of the first one is this Tom's of Maine Rapid sensitive, sensitive Relief Toothpaste. I hated this. I used it for like four days. I think I talked about it in a video. I was like, I'm using vegan toothpaste. Hated, hated this. I found that my teeth looked more yellow and actually more sensitive when I used this. So I need chemicals in my tooth care products because it just like, I was just walking and, you, and it was like instant pain. And usually I only get pain in my teeth when I'm eating sweets or like chocolate or anything like that, that's when I get a lot of pain in my mouth, but this was like constant. So I don't think that this did jack squat for me. Um, so it's going in the garbage. I really didn't like this at all. 
And then the other one, this is the Lord Jones Whole Plant Formula Acid Mantle Repair CBD Moisturizer. And it is covered in hair. Um, I got this as a little like Sephora 100 point perk and I, I don't know, I think that maybe they sent me a bad one. I don't know if this is what it's supposed to look like. One, there was like nothing in here. Two, it was just like oily and greasy, like, and it just looks wrong. Oh, see? Oh god. Like it's just, it comes out in like nuggets and like there's oil marks all over my table right now. Let me see if I can like it just like left my like do you see that it's so weird. it like doesn't i don't know i feel like maybe they sent me a bad one i'm not sure i didn't do much research on it i was just like ooh, 100 point perk yay but it's just like it's a literal oil oh god it's everywhere my table is like it's oh god i can't even like pick it up and it's just gross and i'm getting rid of it and frankly i don't care <laughs> Like, I need to get a towel or something. I think all we have left is makeup. I only have a few things. Let's see. So up first, I am finally saying goodbye to my Milani Conceal and Perfect um, concealer. It's just expired. Um, and I, I mean, it's pretty well used up. Like, I can't really get that much product out anyway but I noticed that it was looking so cakey under my eyes and anywhere I put it, it didn't really mesh with my foundation well anymore. So I think it's just old. I will definitely be repurchasing though. This is like my favorite concealer of all time. Um, once I use up a few other concealers, I will definitely be buying this one again. And then I am getting rid of, if you saw my makeup collection video, I have two of the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascaras. I have Blue Ya Mind and One Smart Cookie, and these are just old. Um, like if I open the brown one, you'll be able to see. It's just like the brush is janked. So those are going. I would definitely absolutely repurchase these again. I loved them. I think they're so great, but they're just old. So they do expire pretty quickly because like I don't know, I didn't have these for too, too long. I think I got them like a year ago, exactly, so. And I don't use them every day, or open them every day, or anything like that, and they just kind of went off, so. Goodbye, fare thee well. And then I used up a Lancome Monsieur Big mascara. I absolutely love this, will be repurchasing it once I use up a few other mascaras that I have in my collection right now. This is one of my favorites, I've repurchased probably four or five tubes of this. I know Lancome is not cruelty free, so I'm kind of wondering if the ColourPop one is a good dupe. Like I know they make a black one and I kind of want to try that because they're both volumizing mascaras and they do have, I don't know if they, they do have very similar wands. So I'm wondering if they'll have the same effect because if I can buy one that's cruelty free and cheaper, I'm all for it. And that is it. So that is it. That is my beauty trash as of late. Um, yeah, a lot of good stuff here. A lot of products well loved and used up to the fullest extent, which is exciting because as somebody who collects beauty, their whole life is about beauty. I don't use up products a lot. So when I do, it's very exciting and I want to share it with everybody. And I think it's so, it's so much better to know when a person's used up a product entirely like for review wise because they've been using it for months and months and months instead of just like first impressions where you're like oh this is good and then the next time they use it it's not good so if i've used up these products obviously there's something to them uh, so yeah that is it thanks for uh masking it up with me i'm gonna go wash my face and yeah